My mom came for this week. It was so bomb. I enjoyed her thoroughly. I didn't vlog a lot though because I feel like I really was just spending time with my family. And I was just focusing on that to be honest. And then far as like, um, I just need to get myself together for the week so I can start back filming and just doing stuff. Okay? Like that's what today is about filming and doing stuff. So. I got this table for my kitchen. I want to put it together. So I'm going to do that with y'all today. And then also, girl, why y'all know I love ice matcha vanilla lattes? So I decided to make my own. And I bought all my little materials and everything I got. So we're going to see how it tastes. Now, I think I might have got the wrong stuff. I'm not going to lie. This is the sweetened matcha. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try it, though. Dang, it's got one whole thing. It's a lot. So I'm gonna do it in my cup. What do y'all send me this Glen Fontaine cup? And I'm gonna do it in this cup. Plus, it's the cup that gives me. Oh, I got my little Starbucks sitting pretty cup, but I need them long plastic straws. Y'all know how they got the long plastic straws? I have no clue where none of mine are. Like, them plastic straws you be using for your drinks and stuff? I don't have them. And when people send me cups, they always send me the plastic straw to come with it. But I don't know where it's at. No clue, but I'm about to wash my cup and then I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna show y'all exactly. So basically these is my little packets I ended up getting. So I'm gonna put, oh shoot. I'm gonna tell y'all this good or not. I just be curious to taste stuff. Let me taste it. Okay. So I got a little bit of water. Let's see how it quarters. I don't have the little blender thing. I just ordered one though, so don't worry, it'll be here. But it was like, you have to put it like this so it won't be grainy. Oh yes, this is grainy as hell. Okay, I'm staring until it's like pretty much nothing thick about it. Okay, so next, I'm just gonna pour this in. Then I'm gonna put some sugar in. Damn. Oh, I don't wanna use too much. Then I'm gonna put some milk in. Then I'm going to take I, I 
don't have a long spoon. Oh my god. I'm so ghetto. Just wait till my little blender comes. But I ended up using regular, oh. Then, oh, let me taste it first. Because if it's a disaster, we need to handle that. Let me try it for the first time. Mm, it's good. It's really good. Okay. And then I'm going to. Period. Voila. I feel like this is going to be so good. And then I got my little top. Basically, I see it. <laughs> At home, Starbucks. That's what it gave. Let me take a picture of it. Just so I can remember this moment. My first Starbucks. Guess who learned how to make their own Starbucks today? Okay. Now, I'm going to put my top on it. You know. So, it's really giving vibes. And use my little straw. And that's on what? Period. It was good. I'm not gonna hold you. It's good. But I like to minimize as um as less sugar as possible. So I don't know if this is really needed. I think I taste it, but I don't know. So Everything else was a hit though. Because the ice matcha, the matcha is already sweetened. And then the milk, I like almond milk. That's like my favorite. Almond milk is the best. Mm hmm. Yes. Come on, Starbucks at home. Y'all didn't tell me some of y'all's because that's good. That's real good. You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. In my mind, I'm down by the end. In your heart, you keep trying. And the truth is not hiding. That's just the way we are, but Can't say you love me when it's like that Can't say I love you when it's like that If it was new, it won't be like that To everybody else, it would just all be bad But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Sometimes I don't want you around Something to make me smile and It's hard for me to try to doubt this feeling Yeah, we could just walk away okay. Good morning <laughs> Good morning Let me see what happened to me So I was walking, then I'm outside And literally, I felt like all this I had my bonnet on, I had my big coat and literally, I was like, oh, my God, I felt all this, like, drips on me and stuff. Like, or, like, maybe acorns or something fell on me because it's a lot of trees where I live. Girl, why a bird pooped on me? Like, I got most of it off, but that was the last incy bit little piece. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? But everybody kept talking about, it's, it's good luck, it's good luck, because I called my mom. And she's like, it's good luck, don't worry. I'm like, ew, this is nasty. But I'm not going to bath. I just want to chill that because I can't believe it. It literally sprinkled up. Uh, it was so much on my coat. I had to get it washed. Like, ugh. and I feel like it was more than one bird, but I'm not sure. But this is disgusting. I've been doing my trial haul, and it's been turning out so good. I hope everybody like loves it the way I do. 
Okay, you guys, so this one is very, very sexy and sultry. You guys even see I did my little pony with it. Super cute, just to add some new Oh my gosh, I just finished filming. Like, I took my first little video at 10.38. It's 2.44. 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. I've been filming for four hours. That's why trial hauls be so much work. Like, you gotta put the outfit together. You gotta try it on. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. Now my friend said, somebody crushed on me. I said, who? But yeah, honey, I'm hungry. I gotta, I wanna show y'all these clothes from this other brand as well. So yes, I got a lot going on. Oh, I'm about to eat me. What am I about to eat? I think I want to eat me a potato and some shrimp. I be having some weird combinations, but they be good. It's like a um, Debbie so good. Oh my God, I did not know this was still in here. This can go in the trash. Oh, girl, I forgot I made beans and green peppers the other night. I am so embarrassed. Look, my, what is this? Girl, my mama came down here and just was cooking up. I done forgot what was in here. I'm gonna put it out. Um, where is it? She made steak. I want. I could eat a little steak. But I love you want this potato and shrimp. Where's oh shrimp? Sorry, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. Oh my god, and then I bought me a sushi roll last night. I'm gonna start making my own damn sushi. I don't care. the shoe by accident and literally look it busted off too so I'm definitely about to glue that back on and fix it because girl why would my shoe ever completely like that for $500 I mean what that's crazy let me turn this down y'all that's my new table I put together <laughs> That's gonna be so cute once I'm really like completely finished with it. It's gonna be cute. But listen, so these influencer days be kicking my butt. And then I don't know why. I need to stop letting this table rock. I don't wanna get y'all seasick. Let me stop. <laughs> I didn't put this together. This is exactly how it came. I might mean, need to tighten it up though. My eye keeps watering. Like it don't matter what I do, this eye is going to water and I can't stand it. I've tried so many different methods, changed the makeup, still waters, everything. So I don't know why it's gonna continue to water the way it does, but whatever. Um, But let me tell y'all, so I need to get back on my therapy stuff. Like I really do. And I know this is so random, but I do like I, go to therapy but i just ain't been going lately i feel like i've been thrown off and i was like before i moved to la i was diagnosed with seasonal depression so basically i would get depression during certain seasons well i had i was depressed but i am mentally like just thrown off but then i would be even more depressed during certain seasons so like when it was like january february oh baby I was thrown off and my therapist she would recognize it too because like I would dress different my energy would be different like I just would act irritated and lately I just been really like irritated like irritable or I just have not been me lately like just I mean I feel happier but it's like it's not coming out if that makes sense so 
I was going to start back seeing my therapist and then really tap into my energy. I'm trying to see these in analytics. Oh my God. Also, did y'all see my new, um, I'm so sorry. I'm just doing so much stuff. Did y'all see my new, um, remember the other vlog? I literally was telling you guys about that. I had a publication that was going to interview me. They ended up interviewing me and it was rolling out. I'm so excited. Rolling out magazine ended up freaking interviewing me. It was so dope. Um, I really enjoyed the experience. Y'all definitely go check out the article. Leave comments, leave likes. Um, I just was so happy because it was showcasing like a lot of my fashion stuff and what I feel like my take on is being an influencer. So I was super duper excited, like super excited. And shout out to the, my manager because she's been doing her thing, like thing thing. Okay. I could have sworn I ordered me some covers on Instagram. You know, I know y'all don't, I mean, TikTok, even no, on Amazon, you know, I know y'all don't care, but I could have sworn I ordered me some, but I don't know where they at. Okay, so I'm over here trying to look at something real quick. And then I'm about Girl, I'm over here enjoying this drink. I'm not the only person that like, I know y'all probably do it too though, but I love making me like a little um icy. Like I put my drinks in the freezer all the time. Mmm. It's so good. You make me feel. Today's video will be sponsored by Zegu. And pretty much they have a bunch of different varieties of clothing on their website. And if you guys want to purchase anything you see today or on their website, just use my code GLAMAZONTAY35 and you can get 35% off. Like that's real crazy, right? So I got a couple things I want to show you guys today. So first things first, I ended up getting this top. This top is super basic, but I love it because it gives baddie. Like anybody that knows me knows I love like a basic top. Um, just so I can pair it with some jeans or pair it with like something else and look like really, really fine. Like, mm, and get the vibe. So I love this basic top. It just has like the different little buttons. And they literally are only like $19.87. So you can pretty much get 35% off that. I have this green sweater on. It comes down to about my knees. It's fairly thick quality. You guys see it has like a little bit of texture about just to add a little something extra because if I'm going to wear a sweater, I don't want it to be like a granny sweater. And then it comes down to about my knees area. Here's the back of it. Just simple and basic, but it's super cozy and warm. Next, I ended up getting this one. It's like a little sun, not a sunflower. I think that's like a daisy. Like with me, I've been getting in this vibe of like pattern blocking and also color blocking. So I think this would be perfect with that. And it just spruced my outfit up. Like, I love how versatile it is because even with the white top, I can literally wear all three of my sweaters with. I told y'all, I've been really changing my style and I'm so proud of myself because it actually looks super duper good. Like, and it's effortless. So this one is a little bit more of a different shape. You see how it has the bigger arm part? And then this is like way tighter. This one looks a lot more feminine to me. Um, it is not as long as the others. It's kind of like asymmetrically done. It's no buttons on it at all. And then last but not least, here is another top I ended up getting. Now, this is way out of my comfort zone with trying new stuff. I've never had like a top like this, but I do like this. I do. I think it'd be cuter if I had like a little necklace that was like down on my neck, but I like it. It's different as a long sleeve shirt. So I hope you guys enjoy looking at these pieces from Zigo. Um, if you're interested in looking at any of these items, they will be linked in the bio. So definitely go check that out. As well as using my code for 35% off, Glamazon Tape 35. And I'll be seeing y'all in a few minutes. Hey y'all, I just got back in from taking denim to the bathroom. And then I'm over here really trying to debate like, am I hungry or am I not? I'll be more towards I'm not. 
don't know why. I just. I'm about to take my makeup off, edit this video, and that's it. But I don't know if I'm gonna come back home. But girl, why I just seen the media? Cause y'all know that the Grammys just happened this past weekend. So basically, why Quavo perform without you? And honestly, it's just his song. Like it's only him on the song, but it's a song in remembrance of Takeoff. So I'm watching the Grammys performance. It actually was pretty sad. So I thought that um. I thought that freaking Offset was gonna do it with him. Girl Bar, the little blog sites, literally just said something along the lines of that Offset wanted to come on stage, take off, didn't want him to, and they ended up fighting right before the event. I'm like, what? But then Offset literally made a post and was like, that's my brother, what I like fighting him. So I'm saying, here like, I wonder if they really did get fighting. And they're just trying to keep it on the low. Or if they didn't get frightened. And somebody just exaggerated that lie because why would so many blogs run that without proof? Alright, good with that. Mm. Everybody not gonna post fights and stuff. But I wouldn't have ran that story without solid proof. Because it was a couple blog sites running it. I don't know. I don't know. That was really good. Y'all should try this. Oh, anyway. Here is the... Y'all should definitely try it. It was really good. I was shocked. Good morning. <laughs> if y'all are interested in buying matcha drink that I normally drink, I did post a TikTok on it this morning. But let me tell you, I had to come to y'all with some tea. A little tea, period. And I have my bonnet like this because I hate when it's on my neck and it's hot. So, girl, let me tell you. So, I was, like, chilling. I was not really thinking much into nothing. And anybody I really was, like, talking to or dealing with, we kind of just stopped. And it wasn't on bad blood or anything. It literally was just, I just been busy. And I feel like everybody else is busy, too. So, I'm the type of person, like, if you was ever talking to me, date me or something, like, it's no obligation to keep, like, checking every single day. So, I haven't talked to nobody. Like, literally nobody except my homegirls for, like, almost a week and a half. Pretty much almost two weeks. Girls, so why, literally out of nowhere, one of these girls, and y'all know when I say girls like that, it's like one of these iggas, basically hit me up and was like, hey, good morning. I'm like, hey. And she gonna say to me, um, how you been? I said, fine. She was like, do you have any plans? Child, even when I did my vlog the other day, y'all heard me say I ain't have no date or nothing. So why this child said, oh, okay, well, I think you need to change the scenery. I'll be sending you a flight. Girl, what? Girl, huh? Girl, who? So child, I'm like, well, dang, do that mean I got a Valentine's Day? Or is somebody just trying to be really nice to me? Is she trying to be nice to me? Do I, are we Valentine's? Or are we just going to hang together for these days and then leave? Like, I'm I'm confused. Child, why next thing you know she says, um, girl, why next thing you know she's, um, we get off the phone. Because it was nothing to talk about. Like, it literally was just that. And we got off the phone, number one, because I feel like I'm the type of person, like, I don't know how to say it. Like, I just remember I told y'all I've been in like a little funk. So I really haven't really been saying much anyway. Girl, next to you, though, she sent me my flight confirmation, babe. You are my Valentine. Ooh. Because that happened really fast. So I guess I got the Valentine's. But do y'all feel like that's cute or um, if it's a given vibes? I feel like that was super cute, super unexpected. And I feel like that's what be happening when you don't be expecting nothing. That's when stuff happens oh okay i finally done kind of got myself together a little bit but girl look so my tub is jetted like and basically the guy just came this morning to fix it like i had to find somebody and he's like they was using this little hole and girl it was not working so he had to make a big ass hole over there but he took that vent and put it over there so now i'm just waiting for my tub to get fixed but he literally like girl it was like stuff in here and everything like Y'all kept telling me it needed to be clean. I have not used this tub at all, though, because I already knew it needed to get fixed and clean. 
Girl, you put this little sign. I was like, do not put water in the tub. I'm like, period. I'm going to use something big like that because I low key, I'm probably going to put it right in the tub because, like, what? What if I just go through and put the water on? But I swear I haven't used the tub at all because everybody kept telling me, you got to get the jets professionally clean. You got to get them clean. I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that before anything, right? So, right now I'm about to go to ikea because i got some furniture there and they called me this morning i was like your stuff is delivered when did you plan on coming to get it so i'm gonna go get it now because there's no need for it to just stay there you know what i'm saying i just want to put a little lotion on and then i'm gonna be on my way period but as of right now i'm about to go I've been wearing this black opium and it smells so good. But eat a perfume extreme. But it ain't as long lasting as my Louis Vuitton. My Louis Vuitton lasts all mother freaking day. Like all day. So honey. Mm -hmm. But let me put my little jacket on. And I wear my little sneakers. I'm gonna give y'all an OTD. I need to find my stuff, to be honest. Oh, you're talking about gifts, my OOTD. Okay, so I'm at the Ikea pickup, getting all my 50 boxes. Here, they be having the AC on. Oh, no. Maybe because it's, like, hot. Nah, it be freezing. <laughs> okay. Let me show this. Stingy Not stingy with the heat. That's a mess. Oh, yes, it all fades. Because I measured it last night, and I was wondering if it was all going to fade. But thank you so much. Perfect. Do I need to sign anything? Okay, I pretty much got everything in here. I did not think it was going to fit. Because I ended up getting a king bed. But it fit. And it wasn't like extremely heavy. So I might be able to move it around myself. Who knows though. But now I'm about to go home and see if I can like peel it out. And put my bed together. Girl, I am in shock. So y'all know me. I'm always in Target now since I'm a Target girl. And why the heck they selling mumbo sauce in a bottle? I'm probably gonna chop this all up because there's music in here. But mumbo sauce in a bottle? I never heard of mumbo sauce in a bottle besides me being in the DMV area. Like, let's just be honest because I really want to see what it's getting hit for. Like, what? It's free. Not if you hope it's mine. I'm scared of them and they don't. They was oh, they're really nice. Not you getting me some flowers. Hey, little love, it was great to see you. Love you, Chica. Little Chica. <laughs> Let me open up what it's supposed to be. This is super cute and it's for me. Well, they said it only should take two and a half hours to put it together. Oh, they're going to take that. Yeah. Well, I'm probably not going to do it all in the same day. I wouldn't. I would do sections of it. So basically, I just got back in the house, had to take my trash and all that stuff out. And now I'm about to cook me some fried chicken strips and some mumbo sauce. And I want to make me some french fries too. Just a little fry for you. I do. Where is that little pan? So yeah, girl. I'm about to get to it. I already seasoned my meat too. So at this point, I'm just literally this pie. No need for me to do two things of oil for two things of mess. But I'm about to do, I'm super excited. I'm like, what is this about to get? So I seasoned my chicken up. 
I seeded my flower. So now I'm just going to put it here. I guess I'm going to do like two or three. I didn't realize I had this much chicken. Oh my God. Okay. I'm just putting the powder on it. This about to be. Well, I know my chicken gonna be good. I'm just wondering what this mumbo sauce about to be giving. Cause the thing about it is, y'all know I know about mumbo sauce. Clearly, I'm from the DMV. My issue is, I never knew they were selling it in stores, but then. You also got to take an account. I did just move back here. So I guess it's a lot of stuff that was going on that I wasn't aware of. Do I need more flour? I don't like wasting flour. I mean, even though flour is cheap as hell, like beef for real. It's saying you gotta, gotta have the ready light on that one, but. To be honest, I'm dropping this. Also, while I'm over here watching, um, I've been like trying to get into watching more YouTubers. Girl, I'm watching Lindeja Hot Seat video. Baby, let me tell you, I wish I could move on that fast from people. Like right now, I'm not going through nothing. But I could have sworn they had just broke up not too long ago. Her and Ray so wavy, but some people can move on fast. I'm not one of them girls, though. It be taking me a minute. It's, unless you really did some wild stuff to me, it ain't gonna, it be taking me a minute. Let me go ahead and put this in. Oh, yes. You're cooking beautifully. Girl, we over here cooking at Chef Glimavante. Y'all remember when I could not cook for nothing? That was a long time ago. Ugh. Let's get these in here. I'm going to be using this one. When I posted it, though, everybody was like, Tay, you should have got the other one. I'm like, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Let me not put this all over because what if it's not good? Hopefully it is, though. Okay, I'm going to take the little one. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> mm. I'm in shock. It's so good. And it honestly got a little, not a kick, but a little pop to it. This is so good. Mmm. And I love my most all. Like, absolutely love it. So this did not disappoint. At all of them. I'm super shocked. Girl, I done drenched it now. Yeah. Mmm. Y'all should definitely go get that.
Mm mm. This is so good. You know, you looking your favorite big brother. Mm hmm. Girl, and my new cups I got from Amazon. Okay, I got my food bit. I gotta go. But yeah, it's definitely good. Let me see what rate I'm gonna give it. One more bite. I'm definitely gonna give it like 9.5 out of 10. Now, why I'm not gonna give it a 10? I feel like if I keep, I don't know if it's gonna get on my nerves. Like, you know how you keep eating something, you're like, oh, it's still good. Or if you keep eating something, you're like, okay, I'm sick of it. I don't feel like that right now, but I feel like this might. So I have to eat it fully to now. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, this is perfect. This made me want to fry some chicken tomorrow. Chicken wings. Mmm. Okay. Good, good. Hey, y'all. Um, oh, my God. My, mm -hmm. It's not thrown off, but... It is thrown off. I need to go get... So, basically... So, basically... I had just got off the phone with my therapist and I have been like really just dubbing her for like the last month or month and a half. And I knew I really was because I wasn't in like the best space. And you know, when I just talked to her, I honestly didn't realize I had that much stuff inside of me and I just dumped on her like just everything. And It was a lot to really unpack and just, you know, really get out and just be honest with myself. So at that end of that, so at the end of that, I literally was just like, you know, it is what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Like, I let it, I let it, I let it loose. So I was like, I need to do something to take my mind off of this because, like, I just want to do something else today. Like, I don't want to really sit with that. And I feel like it's so weird, not weird, but lately I've been a person that really, I've been a person that really will talk about everything that's bothering me. I guess lately I haven't been doing that. Even with my vlogs, like so many people was like, oh, I feel like your vlogs have just turned into like a lot of musical montages. And I just have to be straight honest with everybody. Like at the end of the day right now, like, I have to be patient with myself and do realistic shit. Like, I literally just got to Atlanta. So, it's no way I'm going to be outside every single day the way I was in L.A. Just doing stuff because I really am focused on making my house and home. Like, just strictly honest. So, if it is a lot of me speeding up doing stuff or putting stuff together is because most likely I'm trying that's what I'm currently doing in current day time so if that's not something you want to see then I get it watch somebody else <laughs> and I hate to say it like that because I'm not trying to say I want to lose viewers or something like that but it's just like it just has to make sense like this is what I'm doing every day is working on my house number two I feel like mentally right now with myself I'm not gonna say I'm in a mental prison but I feel like I am going through a lot of stuff so a lot of times when I do talk I want to so a lot of times when I don't talk it's because I don't have nothing to say at that moment because mentally I'm trying to work through my own stuff and get it out in the best way that I can and I'm trying to just figure it out I did not mean to freaking get upset because I mean it's not even that serious but it's just the truth like so when I am putting stuff together, honestly, it really takes my mind off a lot of stuff that clearly I'm going through that I didn't really realize all. I realized it, but I didn't realize how deep it was. And then another thing is, it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm, my, my content is so much more mature now, I think, and not so rah, rah, rah. I mean, give or take when summertime come, I'm pretty sure it will hit, but it's like, this is just where I'm at right now. Like, I'm 30 years old. <laughs> like, 
I'm really just trying to like stabilize my house so that other parts of me can feel better. And to everybody that this doesn't pertain to, you know, you can bypass it. But I'm just being honest, like, it is what it is. And I think the old me used to get on here and talk and tell so much in de depth details about certain aspects of my life and just being so vulnerable. But I think the things that's going on with me right now, it's like I don't know what to say about it because I'm processing it myself. And number two, I think that... I just don't want to tell my business the way I used to tell my business. Like, don't get me wrong. There's certain things I will let people in on, but certain things I'm just not. Not now. Like, it's like when I sit on a back end, I don't think people understand how much stuff I've been really going through. Like, I had somebody going viral on TikTok, literally posting me, posting me, posting me, posting me, posting me in a dress that I paid full price for and literally was getting clients off of the dress and I literally have been telling them do not post me don't want to be posted I paid full price for my dress like all this other kind of stuff and mind you the service with them was horrible they tr for my birthday that dress oh my god I went through hell and back for that dress missed two flights for that dress I had to get a whole lawyer and camera cut out I had to get a whole lawyer involved to get all that stuff taken down a person monetizing off me paying for a dress that they treated me so about and literally finally got it taken down. And that's been going on since freaking November. I had somebody else. I had paid a service to do a job. Never came through and did a job. Now I have to sue them. Like, and then far as friends, I don't know. Like, <sighs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but... I'm going to be honest with you. I have been so quiet lately. I've been so humble lately. I've been chilling. i just been taking everything that's been happening to me and allowing that shit to transpire and not even fighting back because I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> I don't. And I feel like in this era right now, it feels like a start with Hey, it's people that I was cool with that unfollowed me out of nowhere that I didn't even know we was it was a problem. And people write me talking about, well, why this so so unfollowed? Girl, I don't know. Cause when I left LA, I thought we was cool. That I really didn't even dug into. I don't even told you a piece. So it's like, give me some fucking grace, <laughs> please. Like, I am so fully committed to posting videos and just getting content out. And literally, if two or three videos is not me spilling tea in each vlog, like, give me a damn break. Let me, let me just do that. Let me just build my furniture, look for my um, interior decorating. Like, let me do that. And a lot of people are going to be like, well, you get so much more positive than the negative. No, that's because I delete the negative comments because I don't want to hear it. I don't want you asking me why somebody going to follow me. For no reason. And then assuming it's me that unfollowed them. When I didn't even know we was unfollowing each other. Until people brought it to my attention. That's what that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like. I think that. This masculine energy that I've had. For a while. Of just being so dominant. Just being so. Not aggressive. But just being so blunt. Just being so. Ugh. About my stuff, it's it's made people feel like anytime it's a conflict with me and somebody else that it's my fault. And it's not. It hasn't been. Because the stuff that was my fault, I ate it. But lately, I'm going to be honest, I have been super duper like vulnerable, super duper feminine, super duper chill. Real chill. And I ain't spoke on too much or did too much. But it's because people picking up the energy, I guess, of the old me or how I was before, it, it, it isn't leaving. It keeps translating over into this new stuff and a new person I am. Because anybody that know me before, you know the way I react and respond to stuff now versus the way I used to at least three to four years ago is totally different. Even two years ago. It's like, I'm so different, but it's like this stigma 
of an angry black girl or aggressive black girl is is just here, just following. And it's like, oh, let me live. Let me re-freaking brain. Like, oh. I say all that to say I'm cool, and if you don't enjoy my vlogs, I get it. Maybe you should find somebody else to watch. If you do enjoy my vlogs, I appreciate you being here. That's it. Okay, I'm back, and I'm better, and I feel a lot better, so oh, please bear with me. But right now, I'm about to open up this chair I got. I got it from Amazon. I'm going to put it together myself. I felt like I wanted to do something productive, so that's what I'm doing today. So I'm recording a video as I do it too, as well. So just know me. Hey y'all, so I got a new mic, and I really honestly just wanted a reason to <laughs> test out my mic. <laughs>
I forgot where I got this chandelier from, to be honest. I don't even remember where I got it from. But I do know how to plug in my own chandeliers now, so I'm, uh, I might wait till somebody's here to help me with that because I don't want to do it and then it literally like fall on me because that one's kind of big. Here's the chandelier. Mm. Super pretty. Chandelier, I put it up there pretty janky. The color of it looks a lot better than it's showing up on camera. But here's what it looks like. Super pretty. I think it's gonna make it look like really bohemian. So I'm gonna change that out from that one to this one. And we're gonna have us some light, y'all. Well, after I literally just got done doing all that stuff, I have to do an interview today. I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, so I'm right now doing my makeup real quick. I'm using my new Dior foundation. And it seems to be blending on my skin really well so far. It does make me a little bit darker, but yeah. I'll see. Let's see. But I'm going to lighten it right back up because ain't nobody got time for that. But we're going to see. But that's what it is. When you be trying new foundations, I promise you, it's like certain stuff be like, uh, is that going to work? Uh, is it not going to work? So we're going to see. But I'm just doing my makeup. Then I'm going to do my thing. Girl, why Ari just dropped that her and money bag? Yo, you know she do her little cooking segment. So she dropped that her and money bag. It's going to be on it together. I'm excited to see it, to be honest. I am definitely going to be tuned in. I might watch it with y'all a little bit. Cause I feel like this is about to be so funny. Hey y'all, so I just finished my makeup. How y'all like the new foundation? I feel like it was a little dark, but I brightened it way up. So I actually do like it a little bit, period. So now I'm about to get dressed. I'm going to wear these rainbows I got. Cause it is raining outside. In his shirt, so I'll get dressed. I'll be right back. Actually, I think I want to do like a video for TikTok. A get dressed with me video. So we'll see. Hey y'all. So what about her? So I'm watching mm -hmm. the Queen's Man Child. It's wild. Fuck our family. I'm watching the Queen's Man Queen's Man Child. It's the guy. Extremely, extremely turned up. So right now I'm going to film me. A little TikTok get ready with me. So we're gonna see how that go real quick. And period. Bro, I put my stuff there so I could get come on mommy's baby. Come on. Come on. I put my stuff there because I was about to put it on. But then somebody wants a beat up in the mix. Zing zen. Okay, so let me um get my mic. Also, I bought a mic. I'ma send up, I'm gonna show y'all the video right in here. But I bought a mic. So I could like talk. This about to be so cute. So let me get my stuff together. Hello, Miss Squirrels. I was not able to get back on the vlog because I was waiting on my best friend to come to the house. But then he said traffic was. I don't know if he left when he said he was supposed to leave because it only took him like 20 minutes to get to my house. Child, he was saying it was taking him like an hour. So anyway, I got an interview today. I told y'all about that for like being an HBCU student or graduate alumni. So, um, I'm about to go do that right now, but he's going to meet me there. And then hopefully we can go to some little happy hour or something. Cause when I tell you my days have just been nuts, like just been ridiculous, ridiculous, like crazy. So I need like a little, just a little drinky drink. Not much. Cause I ain't trying to be tipsy, but just a little. And also y'all know I'm supposed to be leaving to go to my scammy girl so i'm supposed to be packing my bag to go there but i'm gonna pack very light because i think that trip is gonna be like shoop, like very small it's like an in and out type trip but i'm gonna enjoy myself and i'm gonna have me a ball because i, I deserve it <laughs> you know what i'm saying but that's all that's really going on right now it's 70 today but i feel like it's a little low warm but they say i'm literally like two minutes away so I should be there in a while. I hope my birth don't smell like onions though. Cause I made, Ari posted this sandwich. Like it's so crazy. Cause I normally don't ever talk about Ari on my videos, but Ari literally um, posted a sandwich on her story the other day. 
And I love sandwiches. Like, I'm a sandwich girl. I love sandwiches. Not like cheeseburgers and stuff like that, but like sandwiches like, you know, uh, turkey meat or like beets, the BLT, stuff like that. Girl, so she posted this sandwich and it looks so good to me. I don't even know why it looks so good, but, and then she toasted it. I made one of those and it was good. So the here's the picture right here. So basically it was like a turkey sandwich with American yellow cheese. And then she put um, lettuce. I believe that's like peppers on it and stuff. And then she put it in the oven. And I did the same thing. Only thing I didn't have was the peppers. I put a pickle instead. And I left it in the oven for not even a minute. Maybe like a minute. Because it was a little toast. It wasn't much, but it was like a little slight toast. And girl, it was so good. And she put onions too, so it was so good. I was not used to nothing being... Like, I was not used to... Um, I don't put onions on my sandwiches at home. I guess when I'm out, I do get onions. But when I'm at home, I don't. So, I was like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Where am I at? Is this right? Oh, it is right. Honey, let me go back to the finest, my friend. Where he parked? I think that he parked over here. If that's not him, let me see. I see you right there. I can see you. I'm on the other side. Uh-uh, I'm going to the front. <laughs> I'll go to the front of the building. Yeah, for I see you speeding right there. Not you see me speeding. I am not speeding. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> where is the front? Oh, there That's you. the front where you get turn to. Where y'all hell you at? I don't see y'all. That's that visitors. Let me get my little visitors up in here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. We'll talk. Grandma told you, you know, throw a little color in the light. So that's what you did. And Come on. Not you knowing the facts. Man, you know, I do a little research. I, like I don't that. do too much, just a little bit. So we'll talk that and kind of like, you know, your love that's for fashion and stuff like that. Is. I know. Yeah, I appreciate you. you know, I and so we'll talk that and we'll talk, you know, online boutique and what that was like. And okay. The challenges and then how you went from that collection to your Jenna collection. And mm -hmm what it was like in Paris Fashion Week. And okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Brands you work with, stuff like that. This is my, little, this is my workspace for today. Thankful to him. Introduce yourself. I'm Jalil. What you do, Jalil? Oh, I ain't know. You just introduce yourself. He's the I'm Jalil. I ain't know. All right, okay, my bad. I'm Jalil, the TV host for the day. Mm -hmm. You know, we got Tay in the building. We about to rock you out. We are this HBCU love. Virginia State in the building. You and oh, yes in the building. Y'all know what it is. Stop playing. I like yeah, that. Yeah. So professional in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it looks so good on again. camera. The you look so good. Light. Yes, light. yes. Light crazy, it looks so good. Here. That's what we do. Okay. When she cut the fuck with your boy. We did the vibe at our end. What's up, everyone, and welcome to HBCU 101. I am your host, Jalil Thurman. HBCU 101 is a show that will take all over the nation, give you the ins and outs of HBCUs, a little taste of that HBCU flavor. On today's episode of HBCU 101, we sit down with the University of Maryland Eastern Shore alumna who has been able to make her dreams come true in the fashion industry. But before we get to that, let's check out our HBCU news and see what's buzzing in our community with Tyler Carr. And wait, we're coming back from, we're coming back here. On two. Okay. Yes, because you got because it's the outfit. The they ain't get me yet. They only got you, right? Yeah. Hold on. She she gonna bring her bag on camera. So they, it, it, it ain't it's gonna mess them up, is it? We gonna see. It shouldn't. No. You know what I'm saying mess up the. Um... No. Nah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey bunny. Yeah, they ain't seen you on camera. And I'm over here cheesing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now put it like it's comfy. Like have it comfy. It's gotta be you. cozy. You know? Okay. Yeah, that is so funny. I'm over like. Yeah. Yeah. We good? I am ready. Yo, mama, see. Y'all, he was forgetting to record everything. 
stuff over here. It's so into the damn thing. Watch out. Girl, I just went outside and it was raining and you know I did not play. So we didn't end up going out, me and my best friend. He said he just gonna come over tomorrow and help me like he did last time. But I really had such a great time being filmed. I, baby, I'm gonna be on TV, so check out Aspire TV. It will be launching in March. But y'all know I'm gonna give y'all updates on everything. So girl, why I ordered some stuff from Amazon and it came today. So I ordered this tripod. I have to, when I say I have to load up my Amazon store, it ain't even funny. Oh, it came with it. Okay, so I got me a new tripod because I've been doing a lot more content on TikTok. So I had to work on that. Okay, knew that. Well, I didn't even know that was coming. I forgot, honestly. And what's this? What's this? Um, is this that bitch? And I know this ain't no bag. I know this ain't no basket I ordered because it's so little. What did I order this for? Oh no, this is for my plant. I ordered this for my plant. But it's so, I don't think it's gonna fit. It was saying it was. That must have lied about the dimensions. I'm gonna figure that out. I will do my sushi tomorrow. But yeah, okay. So that's what today's uploads are. This little plant thing is supposed to go in my bathroom. Let me show y'all. It is not gonna fit, literally. It's supposed to go in this bathroom <laughs> right here. Y'all be like, girl, why did you think that was gonna fit? I really thought it was. Sorry, over here. It was supposed to fit in this. I mean, honestly, oh, you know, I probably could have done it because I forgot. It do extend out. And this on my Amazon store too. So, I could put this in here. But then, it low key look like it's small. Did one of my leaves just pop up? Oh, it sure did. Baby, we need all the leaves. We can and put her right back on. So what I'm thinking is, if I put the styrofoam and some moss in now, <laughs> it looked like it could be it could be a better fit though. But if it's like that, or I'll probably put it somewhere else. I'm not gonna leave it right there, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's what that's supposed to be for though. And right now I'm loving, I'm loving this wallpaper, but. Clearly it's not finished. Hanging on the wallpaper so I can hang the rest of the stuff up. And then we'll be in motion, period. Wait on it. I was going out tonight to Finn and Feathers. I've been there one time, I think, by myself. Why was I there by myself? I'm not for sure. I think I just wanted a night off when I was in Atlanta before. But we're going out tonight, so it's about to be given movie. So I'm going to see y'all in a few because I'm going to have to switch this battery out because it acting like it's going to it wanna die. So I bet. My girlfriend bought it. Oh, she watched me vlog. Oh she better have my vlog. Look at the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, girls night was so fun. But let me tell you, I feel like my hair puffed up. So it did at the roots. It puffed up so much, so quick. It only took a second. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to tell you. I feel like my hair puffed up so quick. It only took like literally a second. But anyway, with the fitting feathers, it was cool. I went to Harold's Chicken. Y'all know I've been to Harold's Chicken before. These is all Edgewood. And it was okay, but nowhere. It was cool, but it's raining. So, hope I don't hit nobody. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Swirl it around. Okay. But yeah, I'm now on my way home. We was going to try to go to a little after hours, but I'm like, girl, it ain't hitting for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, what that means that I'm on my way to my home. Humble abode. Ugh, honey, Edgewood brings out so many memories. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or bad. But my night was beautiful. I had a great time. I had a mother freaking ball. So most likely I will see y'all tomorrow. I've been really considering doing two vlogs a week instead of my one daily vlog. I think it'll be more more fun and just more interactive. And I want to challenge myself to do something new. And I feel like y'all love vlogs. I love vlogs. So it's like, why am I not going harder? Like, go hard. Go home. My lit. <laughs> but yeah, I got my body on. So, oh no, I don't. I got my little wrap on. Let me lock my door though. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I will be seeing you guys shortly. Adios. See you tomorrow, Pookie.